It's definitely important. Uh, it's going to be just like uh, he had to do last year. Um, uh, he had to act like Nick Marshall at Auburn. Um, I feel like it's even more important this year because Mariota, uh, you know, he keeps a lot of plays alive by uh, with his feet scrambling and everything. So uh, this is the first time that really John's been over there besides uh, the Georgia Tech game. But, you know, it's a lot more. It's different stuff. So um, it's, it's very important. Speed-wise last year, I mean, just how prepared were you guys for Marshall, for Nick Marshall, uh, based on what you saw with John Franklin? I mean, how, how close was he to simulating Marshall's speed? Um, I, I think John's probably the fastest quarterback in the, in the country. I don't, nobody can compare to him. I mean, he can do it on the track. He can bring it over to the field. So he, he prepared us very well. Bobby, we're going to sit you right here. I know you weren't crazy about facing the triple option in the ACC Bobby, championship Bobby game. Were you excited when you got to, you know, heard you'd get to face an offense like Oregon's offense? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm just excited for another opportunity to go out there and play. Do it, uh, you know, do what we do. What, we do. what is the biggest challenge of, um, you know, facing a quarterback like Mariota? What's the biggest thing when you watch film that jumps out from him? Um, scrambling. Uh, like, like I said, he scrambles. He keeps a lot of plays open. Uh, scramble rules uh, are going to be very important in this game, containing him. Jalen, you do so many things on this defense, whether it's blitzing or whatever. Do you get a sense that maybe opposing coaches have started – you know, game planning for you a little bit, or, or quarterbacks making an effort to to pick you out before every snap. Definitely, uh, yeah, I feel that way. But I'm just gonna do my job. I know everybody else will do their job, so I'm not really worried about it. When uh, when I do get my opportunities, I'll make the best out of them. How, how do you get that sense that you know they are game planning for you a little bit more? Uh, how do you kind of tell that? I can just tell. For example, like the Georgia Tech game, I I I mean, I didn't feel like I got a lot of action that game, mm -hmm. but um, you don't give me action. Who you gonna give action to? PJ? You going mm -hmm. <laughs> That's that's a win-win situation to be honest. So I like it. Is this the kind of the first stretch since you've been at Florida State that you've kind of sensed that from teams? And did that happen to you a lot in high school? Uh, definitely. Yeah. And first time it's happened in college. Uh, I got used to it in high school. Mm -hmm. Got boring, but <laughs> um, it, it's all right. Mm -hmm. Watching film in Oregon, have you been able to make any comparisons to any teams you guys have faced? Um, a little, uh, a little bit. Um, they they'll go. I mean, of course, the big thing that stands out is their tempo. Uh, Clemson tried to have a little tempo on us at times. Um, I don't think like Oregon's tempo theirs is a lot faster. You know, they do a lot of different things. Um, we're still, you know, really starting to watch films and things like this, trying to find out uh, the right games to watch and everything. So we're, we're just learning as we go. Yeah, I've never really been, since you've been playing here, an underdog. This is the first time you're not picked to win this game by most of the people. What, is, is it a little different from you? I mean, you're a competitive guy. Do you like the role of being the underdog? Um, I don't, to be honest, I don't feel like the underdog. I don't think this team feel like the underdog. We shouldn't feel like the underdog. We're the ones who won 29 in a row. What are we scared of? Why are we the underdog? I don't, I don't really understand that. Being competitive, do you like going up against a Heisman Trophy winner and all that kind of stuff? Yeah, that, that really doesn't matter to me. Jameis is the best player in, the, in America. I go up against him every day in practice, so it doesn't matter. What do you do in practice to replicate the type of tempo that, that Oregon brings? Uh, a lot of conditioning. We um. Even when we go up against our offense, we uh, you know have to run back to the ball. We have to make a uh, effort of it. Have to make it important. Um, running back to the ball, beating them to the ball, getting lined up, getting the calls in. Um, we do pursuit drills uh, after practice. Do a little extra running just so we can have our condition right. Things like that. Does it remind you at all for preparing for Auburn last year and just their tempo? Mm -hmm, definitely, yeah. That that's one big thing it does remind me of Auburn. When you talk trash to the opponent on the field, is that something more to get yourself fired up, team fights fired up, or to get in the other team's head? Like, what's um, the main reason for it? Uh, most receivers are soft, honestly. So uh, once you once you get in their mind, um, that that plays in the, my hands, honestly. Uh, once you get in certain people's mind, they can't think like they. Uh, Normally would, and for me, I can. I'm fine with thinking. Do you have, do you have a plan like going against the guy, like when you're going to start that off, or is it kind of just develop as the game goes on? Like you start off from right in the beginning, or how does that work? Oh, uh, it's going to start from the beginning. <laughs> yeah, it'll either start from the beginning. Either ruthless kind that will do some research on on the guy you're going to play beforehand. Oh, definitely. <laughs> definitely.
No, they're, they're obviously different players, and you kind of alluded to Jameis being the best player in the country. How does practicing against him every day, can that help the defense as a whole going into a game like this? Mm-hmm. Definitely. Um, the way he looks us off, we never, we can't, you know, lack. Um, we can't slack off. Uh, you don't. He might look the other, the other way and throw it to your man. So you're relaxing, and he complete a pass on you. That just that teaches us to, you know, focus on really our job and do what we have to do uh, every single play, not taking a playoff. So you think, like at least in terms of you know quarterback ability, mm-hmm. you, you've seen everything you might see. Definitely, Jalen. From a personality standpoint, and just being kind of being yourself out on the field, do you feel? A little bit more comfortable as a sophomore than you than you might have been as a freshman with just maybe being kind of yourself out there on the field. Mm, definitely. Um, yeah. I, it just I guess it came with you know my role and mm-hmm. um, age. I just I, f- I felt more comfortable this year. Mm-hmm. Is it different going in the Rose Bowl this year than it was last year? The years are so dominant and the games are a little bit closer. You got to mm-hmm. play all four quarters each, pretty much every game. Has it just been like a different off period in practice because of you guys? Mm-hmm. It's been the same as last year. Mm-hmm. What about kind of going off that question? Do you guys have a different mentality? I mean, last year you guys were just beating down everybody you guys played. This year, all these close games. Do you guys, you know, is there a different mindset heading in there? Mm-hmm. Definitely not. We just, we're going to continue to do what we have to do, um, work, work hard in practice, um, just play.